Nick Merck has recently found himself in hot waters because of a certain derogatory term that he said against the trans community. Ah oh, shit, here we go again. As a result, he was banned by Twitch for saying a term that is so vile, so offensive, so derogatory, it is said that it is on the same level as the n-word itself. That is not a real girl, that's a trend, go off! This is the weirdest part! Okay, look man, like I don't want to go over it too much, but I just, I always want to be honest here with you guys. Like, I, look, I can't say the word that I had said on Twitch, <laughs> because it's considered derogatory, okay? It's like a bad word. I did not know that that was a derogatory word. I didn't. You can think that I did, but wallahi, wahiyat, I swear to God, I on mama, on mom's life, on mom's life, on on mom's, on everybody that I love, man, on myself. I did not know that that was derogatory. I never thought we would find ourselves living in a dystopian tone policing cesspool whereby companies are so concerned with protecting, coddling, and pedestalizing the most fragile FRAGILE! Because of Francesco! FRAGILE! I love people the world has ever known. He's talking about you! Famous philosopher Voltaire once said, If you want to know who controls you, look at who you are not allowed to criticize. And that's a fact. While Sweet Baby Inc. themselves have been pretty silent on all of the backlash and boycotts they've been receiving over the past few months, they have a lot of defenders within the mainstream media who have taken to social media to do their best to damage control for them. And now a massive Sweet Baby Inc. defender who says every lever must be pulled to push agendas announced she has joined CD Projekt Red and quit Insomniac's Wolverine game. Guys, imagine a consultation company that didn't focus on pushing political agendas and breaking your game. I'm all ears. But instead prioritize best ways you can maximize the gameplay experience. And for stories that have sensitive and complex themes, they helped you write your stories with nuance and subtlety. In a way that serves the overall gameplay experience. I like the sound of that. Instead of having a growing infestation of Sweet Baby Inks, we should have a Gamers First Incorporated or a Sweet Baby Ink Detected Incorporated. I'm not sure on the name yet, that's just off the top of my head. If you guys have any cool names for what you'd want a consultation that represents your interest to be called, feel free to drop it in the comments. Don't be shy! Do you even play video games? Oh! I love video games and I despise gamers and I hate everything about the gaming industry. And I hope to destroy it all from the inside. I can't believe we got jobs doing this. I know. And my mom said I would never get anywhere with these games. Is that the latest build? Yeah, we're really proud of it. The art is finalized. Jumpy the hamster can even pick up treasures now as he embarks on an epic quest to save the royal family of Hammerlon from an evil dark wizard. And as you can see, Jumpy runs, jumps, collects stuff, and beats bad guys. Simple family fun. Guys, it's perfect. Oh, there you are. Uh, gentlemen, meet our new DEI consultant. She's here to fix your game. <laughs> what I thought he said was perfect. <laughs> no, it's just an expression. Hello, everyone. I'm Leslie Perkins, she, her, and I am here to make sure your game is as diverse and no, no, culturally sensitive as possible. Well, I guess that doesn't sound too bad. Ultra Jump Hamster Legend is incredible. I love the way your guy, you know, he just jumps. <laughs> 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 But there is just one tiny little thing. Can we make him not jump? He has to jump. The, the game is called Ultra Jump Hamster Legend because of the jumping. Well, uh, jumping is ableist. That just makes no fucking sense. I mean, it's just bullshit. Okay, so what if someone out there can't jump? They're playing the game and they're thinking, this hamster can jump and I can't. Come on now, dog. Come on, man. Okay, next, instead of a hamster, let's make him a strong woman of ambiguous ethnic background. Many months later. Ah. All of these changes totally break gameplay. Gameplay? You see what I have to work with here? You believe this guy? I know this guy. This guy! <laughs> <laughs> You are a guy, right? I mean...
Well, I've seen a lot of big crashes at Talladega, but this is the longest one I've ever seen. Let's take a quick commercial break and we'll be right back. This is Nonstop Pop FM. When you think about it, dating is a lot like grocery shopping. You know what you should be looking for, but all bets are off when you see something delicious and bad for you. Lady. When I came down, I love the pain because the pain is the truth. The hurt is the truth. And realizing my hair is all going to fall out, my teeth are going to fall out, and I'm going to be brought low. If you only knew the power of one. The power of two. Oh. The power of many. No! You were in Star Wars. Would you be on the light or the dark side? Dark side. Yeah, 100% dark side. Dark side user right here. So sorry, but the dark side is clear. <laughs> it just is. The dark side is pleasure, biological, and temporary, and easy to achieve. The light side is joy, everlasting, and difficult to achieve. One is selfless. One is selfish, and you want to keep them in balance. What happens when you go to the dark side is it goes out of balance, and then you get really selfish, and you forget about everybody. Do you see, gods of Olympus? Do you need more proof than this? Enough! We settle this here! Oh, you want to get... Welcome to America, asshole! <laughs> 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 I just love the how we Oh man, that is stereotyping dead right. Welcome back to Talladega, where the long one continues. Yes, I have a Caesar, but that's not my name. Thou thinkest thou can do us this to me? We didn't land on Rome. Rome landed on us. As a matter of fact, we built it. I'm the emperor around here. You just live here. It's not what thou knowest, it's what thou can prove it. To care of Rome, and now Rome is gonna take care of me. I can guarantee you that. I didn't give a damn about no Spartans, and I don't give a damn about no Spartans now. <laughs> okay, guys, I don't know if you've seen the trailer. A gladiator is supposed to become stronger than the Emperor himself, defy the Emperor, and beat the odds. In the first movie, everything that happened was personal and it was connected. But then, if you give us the same thing, you're basically setting your movie up for failure because you want your actors to outdo what Joaquin Phoenix and Russell Crowe did back in the first movie. So many people are excited for Black Myth Wukong's release, yet the mainstream media has done their very best to paint a negative picture surrounding this game. They have levied so many awful accusations towards the director of this game and also the studio, but now the game science offices have been vandalized all because of these accusations. This is a tweet thread by Mark Kern, aka Grums on X. It says the offices have been vandalized and game science, of course, makes Black Myth Wukong. They've been facing so much hatred because of the mainstreams like Kotaku, Polygon, The Gamer. They did not need this. They did not need to deal with somebody who is believing these accusations showing up to their offices and, of course, trying to strike fear into the employee. Where are you? It says the vandalizer is boasting about it on social media, and the motive appears to be a protest against the alleged anti-women stance of the studio. We live in a time whereby we are ruled by tyrants. I believe the technical term is domestic terrorism. Voltaire also said that clever tyrants are never punished. To have the temerity to commit a felony with impunity and then add insult to injury, you boast about it on social media. As a wise man once said, these people need Michael. Stop it. Get some help. Anyway, as usual, thank you, you awesome, fantastic people for tuning in and for uh, liking and subscribing and supporting my content, giving my life a bit of meaning. Remember, stay frosty and VWIW. Vote with your wallet. <laughs> <laughs>